Hello. Until now, I didn't know how to explain the notions of significance level and power because uh, I didn't know how to visually deliver this. Looks like now I do. So we start with the sample space. This is our sample space, and we can assume that this is a square of side one. So that uh, and the probability is measured by area. So the probability of the square is equal to one. This is our sample space, and pro its probability is equal to one. And here we we'll look at two possibilities. One is that the null is true; it's this whole area above the red line. And another possibility is that the null is false; it's this whole area below the red line. What we have here on the left side, the possibility, our true. Uh, possibilities that the null is true and null is false. They are called states of nature because we don't have control over them. What happens, happens. Okay, we just deal with it. And then we conduct statistical tests and based on the results of that test we take decisions. Okay, so we can reject the null and it will be the whole area to the left of this blue line or based on our result, uh, based on the result of our test, we can f fail to reject the null, or alternatively, we can say accept the null. Uh, people usually say cautiously fail to reject the null because when you fail to reject the null, you, you do not necessarily accept that it is true, but in fact, people act as if they accept the null. So. Um, here I want to emphasize the notation that when you use some notation, don't use abstract x, y, z. Try to use something that reminds you what you are dealing with. Like here, the null is true, and we put t for true. Here we put f for false. Here we put r for reject. And here, either part of the word fail, a, or alternatively, accept the null. So uh, this is for the region for accepting the null will be everything to the right of this blue line. So uh, the, uh, 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 the definition of elementary event is that this is a simplest possible event. And here we have four elementary events. One is this, when the null is true and we reject it, T intersection R. And similarly we have F intersection R. And then there is T intersection A and F intersection A. Okay, so once you estimate, uh, once you find the probabilities of these four elementary events, you can find the probabilities of everything in this picture. Now, uh, here here comes the most important part. The problem with statistical procedures is that they are not symmetric. Okay. In particular, it's easier to estimate probabilities of some of those elementary events than others, okay? This is why we look at the probability of this part, type 1 error, and probability of this part when we take a correct decision. The null is false and we reject it. Now, the second important remark here is that statistical tests are derived assuming either a true null or false null, okay? Now, see what happens, for example, when we assume that the null is true. It means that effectively our sample space will be this part above the red line. It's not the whole square that we started with, okay? And it means further that the probability of this part should be estimated as a percentage of this whole area, not a percentage of the whole square, okay? And this takes us to this definition, that we need to look at the probability of this part as a percentage of the area above the red line. So this is, it will be given by this fraction, and by definition this will be a conditional probability that we reject the null, assuming that the null is true. By definition, this is uh, this will be probability of type one error, or alternatively, it is called significance level. Okay. Similarly, when we talk about uh, the correct decision, okay, uh, 
we need to estimate the probability of this part as a percentage of this whole area below the red line okay and which takes us to this definition that we have this fraction it's which gives us this as percentage of this area okay and it will be as before it will be a conditional probability that we reject the null assuming that the null is false okay and this probability is called power of a test it's a probability of courage correctly rejecting false null okay i hope this makes sense thank you